Hello friends, today I've got Akai's MPX-16 sampler. Let's check it out. From the beginning, unfortunately, the MPX-16 didn't make a good impression with me. It was not intuitive to set up at all. Software is involved, and I'm never a fan of that, and quite a lot of menu diving is involved. Maybe I was naive, but I started off by thinking you could just copy WAV files straight to the SD card and transfer it over to the machine. So I grabbed a few of my favourite sounds, powered it up, and I just kept getting the error message unsupported, or unsupport as shown here. So what was wrong with my files? Well, I went back to the manual and realised that you had to install the Akai software that facilitated the conversion of files into a playable format. Now I figured we were good to go. But nope, I'm still getting that unsupport error. I thought maybe a system update was in order, and this was actually quite an easy function to perform. Done. Now let's play those samples. What? Unsupported once again. So, back to the manual for an even deeper dive. After all of this messing around, I realised that my SD card simply had to be set to FAT32. So I reformatted my card, transferred my files, and everything was working fine. So finally I was able to load my own samples into the 16 pads. You can change the way the samples trigger and also change their pitch. You can also sample directly. Let's see how that goes. Okay, so we've got a little handheld synth here connected to the MPX-16's stereo in. Just had to save that to the designated pad. And you can hear a bit of added reverb there. Cutoff and resonance. The filters are very ungainly to control, unfortunately. So that is one very simple array of samples. There is also a microphone built into it, so let's try recording directly into that. Notice that it also records the switching off of the sample, but you can erase that by chopping the end off in the edit section. Using these little select buttons to get around the menu is also not very intuitive. The menu system is a bit confusing at first, but if you keep your eye on this grid, then it's pretty easy to know where you're at. So again, a few bumps in the road, but it does work. and nice recording quality. Being such a portable device, it's a bit of a shame to see that it doesn't run on AA batteries, but you can just connect a power brick and plug it straight into the USB socket. One thing I really do like is that it has the classic MIDI connections, so let's set up all 16 pads with a sample and run a MIDI signal into it. Let's record some sounds off this synthesizer. Okay, now we've just got to assign those recorded samples to each of their respective pads. So I didn't do all 16 pads, but anyway, it'll demonstrate the MIDI function. And I have to say, this was one of the most satisfying moments.
nice. And that's the MPX-16 from Akai, friends. I've got a rocky relationship with this one. I'm really not sure how I feel about it. Maybe with a bit more testing and a bit more experience, I would like it more. But it's too closely associated with the computer for me. It's also not intuitive enough for me. And there are plenty of similar devices on the market that are comparatively a lot more intuitive. So check out the whole range, see what's out there. And as always, buy the one that makes you smile. Thanks for watching GearFacts today. I'll see you on the next one.